My name is James Shirley. I am a digital project manager and I live in Melbourne. I started at Oricon as a civil engineer and I was designing stormwater and transport infrastructure. Um, I really enjoyed it, but it's something that I don't do now. My job is very different. The, w the simplest way I could explain my job is an advocate for the entrepreneurs in the organisation. There's plenty of people with fantastic ideas all across Oricon. My role was to implement an ideas uh, platform. That's been really rewarding. So I've been working with a software development team, you know, the marketing and comms team. So my, my job at the moment is almost an intersection of product design, marketing and project management. At Oricon, we've always solved our clients' problems and solved them well. And typically that's been through hard infrastructure solutions like a road or a piece of rail or a building. Now we can not only deliver the hard infrastructure, but we can more and more deliver the soft infrastructure, being the digital solutions on top of what we've always delivered. So a road could be delivered with a functional IoT or sensors to enable traffic modelling. So we can provide information to people on how they use uh, our systems. In a building, we can tell people how their energy is being used. Uh, we can then provide insights on how to better use that information. And this can inform best practice on how we design our projects for the future, how people want to work, how people want to live, how people want to move in cities. Some of the other things that I've experienced at Oricon that have been different to other consultancies is that the work environment, you know, where you go to work is quite beautiful and that makes a huge difference on, on how you work. Uh, the people are you know, generally happy. <laughs> they come to work and they, they enjoy it and that's infectious. It makes you want to do good work, uh, makes you want to collaborate. One of the Oricon attributes that I believe has helped me the most in my career is being inquisitive. So having that intellectual curiosity to not just see something and be interested in it, but question how that works and why is it working like that? Could that be better? And I think that's quite a fundamental skill to engineering. Uh, the advice that I'll give to a graduate would be that the job that you're hired for may not be the job that you're doing in two years. So be flexible, be open to learn and just have the ability to be curious and have that growth mindset. Um, look at the big trends in the, in the industry and if you're really interested in that you can tailor a job that will be sustainable ongoing.